Let us take a quick look at the story. One day, the narrator's grandfather bought Toto a little red monkey from a Tonga driver to add to his collection of animals in his private zoo. Toto was an attractive monkey with sparkling eyes. He often took special delight in scaring elderly Anglo-Indian ladies. Since grandmother was always adverse to grandfather's collection of animals, he decided to keep the news about Toto hidden from her until she was in a better mood. Toto was temporarily kept in a closet that opened into the narrator's bedroom. After a few hours of keeping Toto in the closet, when the narrator and his grandfather came to check him, they were shocked. Toto had torn the wallpaper the peg with which Toto had been bound had been wrenched off the wall. The narrator's school blazer was torn into pieces. Initially, Grandfather enjoyed Toto's pranks. After this, it was decided that Toto would be transferred to the zoo as he was a real menace for every soul in the house. In the zoo, other animals such as a tortoise, a pair of rabbits, a tame squirrel and narrator's pet goat lived amiably. But Toto created trouble for all of them. He did not allow any of them to sleep at night. Once. Grandfather had to go to Saharanpur to collect his pension. He decided to take Toto in a big canvas bag. As he was unable to come out of the bag that was properly closed with the zip, Toto jumped inside and made the bag look as if there was a spirit in it. At Saharanpur, Toto popped his head out of the bag successfully and grinned at the ticket collector and scared him. The ticket collector was surprised as well as annoyed at the discovery and asserted that grandfather should pay the dog's fare. The ticket collector assumed Toto to be a dog Finally, he was accepted by grandmother and was shifted to the stable where the family donkey named Nana lived. Toto could not get along with Nana as well. Toto loved to take bath in hot water during the winter. Once, he had almost boiled himself by getting into a kettle of water that was kept on fire to be boiled for making tea. Toto's nuisance was increasing day by day. He was destroying everything he could lay hands on. Once, he ate away all the pulao that was cooked for lunch and then climbed 
a jackfruit tree and threw away the plate down in which he was eating and broke it into several pieces for a family of middle class status buying dishes could be an expensive affair in other words it could be said that it was unnecessary harassment for the narrator's family so keeping a naughty monkey could not be a pleasant experience for them so soon grandfather sold back toto to the same tonga driver at a loss